Welcome back to another video. I go by the name of Six Speed. If this is your first time stopping by, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all of the latest videos that I post. So today in this video, I'm gonna go over everything that I have done to the car as far as modifications. I'm also gonna explain how much I purchased the vehicle for and how much my monthly payments are and also how much my how much my insurance is um because i always get a lot of questions about how much i pay for and how much you know the monthly payments are and also get a lot of questions about all the modifications that i got done to this car so without talking too much i'm going to get straight to the point and tell you guys everything about my 2015 mustang gt so this is a performance package so everything that's included inside of the GT performance package is pretty much you get a strut tower brace, you get a larger radiator, you get a retuned chassis, you get a larger sway bar, heavy duty springs, and you get the Brembo six piston uh, front brake calibers, and you get larger rotors. And also on the performance package, you get the 373 gear ratio, six speed manual transmission, this car was only available in a manual back in 2015. So the 2015s, the 2016s, and the 17s, every performance package came with a manual transmission. Now with the newer ones, the newer models, like the 18s and 19s, you can get a 10 speed with the performance package. But with this being the 2015, this is a uh, manual transmission. So the modifications that I have done, this is my favorite so far. I have the Shelby GT350 bumper installed on it. I like it, it give it a mean look to it. It looks really good. Especially at nighttime, it give it such a like an aggressive look to it. I love how this bumper look on it. The factory bumper, it was pretty nice, but it ain't nothing compared to how this um, bumper look off of the Shelby GT350. It looks really good. Um, also, another thing that I have is I have a clear wrap that goes across my whole entire bumper. And pretty much the clear wrap is just something that prevents rock chips from scratching up the paint on your bumper. I really love that. I really think that's a good investment. My bumper still look really clean and it look brand new. And I had it for about seven months now. So I really like the clear wrap. I'm glad that I bought that. I don't have any rock chips or anything on the front bumper. That's modification number one. Two, I have Ibach Lawrence springs all around the car. Give it like an inch and a half drop. I like it because it handles excellent. It handles much better through like turns and also at high speeds. It just handles so good and I love those springs and I highly recommend them to anybody that's interested in them. The exhaust is Flowmaster Outlaws with the off-road X-pipe. Um, it sounds pretty good doing high RPMs and it really sounds good when I'm underneath the tunnel. You know, I always got to send it. <laughs> the exhaust is so loud. Like the videos never do exhaust any justice, but my car is really loud and I, and I get stopped all the time about the exhaust setup that I have on my car. I absolutely love it. The Flowmaster Outlaws with the X-Pipe. It sounds really good. I have the rear window louvers 
I love how that look. I think it gives it a pretty aggressive look as well. Um, I got the crowd license plate. You know I had to get that. For all my Mustang people, <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. Also, the license plate gave my car uh, five more extra horsepower. No, I'm just joking. But um, I have limo tint all around. I have the windshield tinted to 15%. Having the windshield tinted, I must be honest, it is pretty difficult to see at nighttime. But I just love it so much and I just love how it looks. I don't think I'm ever changing it. But it do get dark at nighttime, I must admit. But I just love how it looks and I'm not changing that. I have the niche target wheels. And I also have red brake calibers. They originally came black, but I got them painted red just because I like how it looked much better. The tire setup is I have Nitto's NT555 all around. On the rear, I have 295, 35, 20. And on the front, I have 255, 35, 20. These are not the original wheels that came on the car. I like these a little bit better than the stock performance package wheels just because I think they look a little bit more aggressive and I also love Niche overall as a brand. I really think they make some nice wheels. But the performance package wheels still look good, but I just like how these look a little bit better. And that's why I decided to swap them out. I have the red interior, which looks absolutely amazing. I have the Shelby GT350 steering wheel with the red stripe at the top. I also have the red push to start button. Um, I have the six speed manual transmission like I mentioned before. Um, with the black and red, this combo, it looks so killer and I just love how it looks. Looks really aggressive and I think that's probably one of my favorite things about the car is the red interior, it looks so good. And I'm just really happy that I got it that way. Another thing that I get asked a lot is, I have the window louvers on the back and people always ask me, can I see out of the back window? And of course I can. I can easily see without a problem. It may seem like it's hard to look at from the outside, but on the inside, I'd never have a problem at all. So now to the good part, I hope I didn't bore you guys to death by all the talking so the exact price that i paid for this car was forty one thousand dollars yep that's right 41 grand for this 2015 mustang gt at the time which was brand new i bought the car new i ordered it back in 2014. so of course everybody finances are different so this won't apply to everyone but i was able to purchase the car for forty one thousand. My monthly payments are exactly $428. And the insurance I pay is $250. And the biggest thing about this purchase or any big purchase that you make is all about credit. If your credit good, you can have pretty much anything that you want. I was able to get a 3% interest rate on my car, which is, which is really good. But the only way I was able to get that interest rate was because of my credit. Credit is everything. So with both the insurance and the monthly payment, I'm at, I'm at about $680 for this car a month. But like I said, that won't apply to everybody. That's just how much I have it for. So 680, which honestly to me isn't really bad for everything that you get in. Like, like I said, the car is amazing. It performs well. It looks good. Like, I'm really pleased with my purchase. And I think I'm going to always have this car. This is my favorite muscle car of all time. I love every car, but it's just something about the Mustang that I would just never be able to just, just let go. I really hope that I was able to answer everything for you guys. But if I didn't, please make sure you leave a comment down below if you have any questions about my car that I did not point out or that I did not answer for you. Please make sure you leave a comment down below and I will most definitely get back to you. Also, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and thank you for all the love and support. I definitely appreciate every last one of you guys. Please make sure you stay tuned 
We got a lot of other videos on the way.